Hello Kata4, happy Monday. Um, welcome to your last week of school. Today for Christ's Light Lesson, we're going to be reading about Philip and the Ethiopian man, Acts chapter 8, verses 4 through 8, 12, 26 through 40. So we're going to start down here, and you can follow along with me. Like Stephen, Philip was one of the seven men who had been chosen to help the apostles with their work. When Saul began persecuting believers, Philip left Jerusalem and went to a city in Samaria. There, he told the people about Jesus and performed miracles in Jesus' name. Many men and women believed Philip's message and were baptized. One day, God sent an angel to Philip. The angel told him, Get up and go south to the road that runs from Jerusalem through the desert to Gaza. Philip left Samaria and headed south as he was told. As he walked along the road, he saw a man from Ethiopia riding in his chariot. He was an important man in his country, man in his country because he was in charge of all the queen's money. He had been in Jerusalem to worship at the temple and was now on his way back home. As he rode along in his chariot, he was reading from a book of the Bible, the book written by the prophet Isaiah. The Holy Spirit told Philip, catch up with the chariot and walk along beside it. Philip ran up to the chariot and heard the man reading aloud from the book of Isaiah. He asked the man, do you understand the meaning of what you are reading? How can I understand it, the Ethiopian replied, unless someone explains it to me. He then invited Philip to climb up into the chariot and ride along with him. This was, part, this was the part of scripture the Ethiopian was reading. He was led away like a sheep that is to be killed, and as a lamb is silent before the man, who cuts off its will, so he did not open his mouth. The man asked Philip, Tell me, who was the prophet talking about in these words, himself or someone else? So Philip explained that Isaiah was talking about the Savior, who would suffer and die for all the sins of all people. He showed the Ethiopian that Jesus was the Lamb of God, the promised Savior about whom Isaiah had written. Then Philip told the man all that Jesus had done to save sinners. As they traveled along the road, they came to a place where there was some water. Look, the Ethiopian exclaimed, here is some water. Is there any reason why I shouldn't be baptized? He ordered the driver of the chariot. Oh, sorry, I lost it. He ordered the driver of the chariot to stop. Then the Ethiopian went down to the water with Philip and Philip baptized him. When they stepped out of the water, God suddenly took Philip away. But the man's heart was filled with joy as he continued on the long oh, sorry, it's loading, road home to Ethiopia. He had learned to know Jesus as his Savior. Meanwhile, Philip found himself in a city called Azotus. He traveled through all the towns around there until he arrived at Caesarea. And everywhere he went, he preached the good news that Jesus is the Savior. So this city right here is actually Azotus, and this is Caesarea, in case I pronounced it wrong. So we're going to end today by praying together. Um, so folding your hands, bowing your head. If you want to read it aloud, we're reading this right here. Dear Lord, help us show love and concern for all people. Spread your saving word so that people everywhere may learn about Jesus as their Savior. Amen. All right, have a good day, and I will see you on tomorrow. Bye.